welcome back guys if you are attending for aws jobs the first question interviewer will ask you is explain about yourself or can you explain your roles and responsibilities in current job in this video i will help you in those details and to get more information on the same topic i am leaving a link in the description box just click on it you will receive a pdf directly to your email and now let's get started we can start like this if your name is prasad you can start like this myself prasad i have done my btech in 2019 and joined hcl as a fresher i have 5 plus years of experience as a senior aws cloud engineer followed by you can go into your specific day-to-day -day activities like attending stand-up calls most of people today they follow agile scrum and they have stand-up calls in stand-up calls everybody will take a minute to explain them about the status of the tasks you're working with that's one thing and second checking your email box why because there could be some important emails which is intended for you you must read them and you must reply to those emails and there could be some meetings um, maybe let's say uh, i am collaborating with a splunk team uh, for my jira story and uh, i i will set up a meeting with that splunk team and maybe i have to attend that meeting or the other way uh, maybe splunk team wants some information from you or some other team wants some information from you they will set up a meeting and you should be attending those meetings then yeah obviously uh, i will progress on my jira stories let's say there are three stories assigned to me in jira for current sprint i should progress on those jira stories part of my roles uh, i also create a hld stands for high level design documents and LLD stands for low level design documents. These documents will have the details about the task you are working with. For example, you wanted to set up EKS cluster on Amazon. So for this, you must have a design document which provides information such as VPC, subnets, is it private, public, CIDR ranges, uh, those details has to be documented and uh, some companies follow uh, creating uh, design documents and some companies do not follow creating design documents every company has uh, their own design document templates like my company may be using a different format and your company may be using a different format then i worked on uh, activities like cost optimization in my aws account my manager asked me to uh, see the cost and try to optimize the cost like maybe we will choose uh, uh, reserved instances uh, spot instances in place of uh, on-demand instances to reduce the cost even uh, we can uh, optimize the cost of s3 right like considering moving data from standard storage to glacier or glacier deep archive there are so many areas uh, which can be uh, used for optimizing the cost we can optimize cost on cloudwatch logs basically cloudwatch logs charge a lot for data ingestion so there we can uh, optimize the cost so this is again i'm not going into the details of how to optimize the cost if required i can make a separate video on cost optimization then i am responsible for creating and maintaining aws infrastructure using infrastructure as code tool that is terraform so here uh, i use terraform for creating modules and uh, uh, updating modules for my infrastructure related changes like i may create a module for ecs EKS, S3, likewise. I set up Jenkins pipeline, which takes my Terraform scripts from Git and uh, 
which will automatically uh, apply those changes onto a uh, dev uh, test staging and production environments i am also responsible for managing permissions working with iam like managing permissions for users managing permissions for services so for that i create policies and i work with iam roles guys these are the points you can highlight in the question about roles and responsibilities in aws job roles thanks a lot for watching and if you want a pdf templates please check my description box and the pdf will be delivered for your email thanks a lot